For this problem, I'm going to assume that you are good with all the basics of tree diagram and probabilities in tree diagram. So if any point in this explanation that you don't know what's going on, go back and visit chapter 3's lecture for tree diagrams basic. Okay, so first we have Jaguar, Valvos, and Porsches, and 10%. 50% and 40% respectively. And then we have the condition where it has two airbags or not. So it's 70% of Jaguar had two airbags, that means 30% don't have. So 2A for two airbags and 2A for no, no, not having two airbags. And then here we have 60% of valves that has two airbags and 40% which do not. And then also 70%, uh, no, uh, let's see, 20% of Valvo has two airbags, and 80% of Valvo doesn't have two airbags. So let me check these numbers real quick. 70% of two airbags out of Jaguar, 60% of Valvo has two airbags, and 20% of Porsche has two airbags. Okay, great. And then there are also another criteria, whether it's white or non-white. So out of each single category, we have to do that again. So out of all the Jaguars, 70% are white, so 30% are non-white. And of course, whether it has two airbags or non, not have two airbags is still the same probability. And that's, that's, that's being said down below if uh, uh, the property of being white is independent from having two airbags. So that's how I can know this is also going to be 0 0.7, 0 0.3. So this chunk is going to be the same as this chunk because it's independent from the airbag part. And then down below it's going to be the same logic. 60% of vowels are white. So 0 0.6 and 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 again white and non-white, white and non-white. And then finally, 30% of Porsches are white. 70% are non-white. So here's the setup. Now it's asking for, if the car is two airbag and white, what's the probability that it's a Jaguar? So again, you have to understand how to write that out. That's going to be the probability that is a Jaguar, given the car has two airbag and it is white. So the part if goes into the given, if and given is the same, is the same thing. And then here, the probability that we want to find. So probability of Jaguar given two airbags and white. Again, translate that into left intersect right on top and the right in the bottom. So just looking at this, you, you don't actually have to write out the whole tree diagram, but I just want to do it just to show you the logic behind it. If the problem could have gotten a little more complicated than this, for some reason you might need a whole tree, or some students are just more comfortable if they can see the whole tree. Here is two airbag intersect white. So what qualifies for two airbag intersect white in a tree, in this tree? That's going to be this one. Two, two airbag and white. Here two airbag and white. And also here two airbag and white. So here what I'm saying is that the probability of two airbag and white is the same thing as adding up all the cars that has two airbag and white, which include the Jaguars that are two air two airbag and white, the Volvos that are two airbag and white, and the Porsches that are two air two airbag and white. So now we just multiply across 0 0.1 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 plus 0 0.5 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 plus. 0.4 times 0.2 times 0.3. So this whole chunk is going to be the bottom.
For the top, it's a little bit simpler, so we're looking at the Jaguar that has two airbag and is white. So that's going to be this one. 0 0.1 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. And for these conditional probability problems, you, sh you notice that the thing is on top is always going to be added in the bottom. So this 0 0.1 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.7, it appears on the top and the bottom. And that only makes sense because for any conditional probability problem, the top have to be a subset of the bottom, or else it wouldn't really make sense at all. Because the bottom is already given. So the top is just some smaller set of the bottom. And we want to see how much of a set it is. So here's the answer. I'm not going to type in the calculator. You can do that.